good life isn't available to just anyone. But visitors of the world's residents are welcome any time to get a sneak peek. This ship is one of the largest floating concentrations of wealth ever. And the easiest way to keep it secure is to keep visitors off. And like all residents, every visitor allowed on board is issued a special ID card. It's not like a lot of ships where you can just casually walk on board and have a look around. So our ship is certainly not open to visitors, unfortunately. The best type of security is covert security, and it's very difficult for me to explain and go into any detail without giving away too much information. But the security is there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The staff of the world is always concerned about security, but what's their biggest worry? Fire. It may seem strange, considering the abundance of water, but any experienced sailor will tell you, fire is the scourge of the sea. No open flames are allowed anywhere on the ship, and all kitchens use induction heat. Fire safety masks stand ready in every niche. And because this is the first ship ever built with over 100 private kitchens, residency had to employ some radical new safety features. The kitchens are built inside what's called an A60 steel box for reasons of fire. And one of the most amazing features is this incredible self-deploying fire door system. We have fire doors. Those close on a signal from the bridge. and. Uh, they work very well because we had a resident last week who found even his burning toast closed the fire doors and the bridge immediately called and as soon as he opened the door our fire engineer was standing there to make sure everything was okay. To keep the inhabitants vigilant, every resident, guest and crew member has to go through monthly safety drills. Just check your jackets that in the middle we have a light and the light is operated by the battery pack on the right hand side of your jacket. No, it will be seven short and one long blast, and that means you come here, and then the abandoned ship signal is just one long. On top of this, each crew member had to be trained in fire emergency procedures in Norway in the winter. It was amazing what these guys went through. They had them jumping in the ocean in full dry suits as teams, learning life-saving techniques and things. Sure, it's cold, and it may look whimsical, but this is no joke. In the back of everyone's mind is the possibility of the perfect storm and how to survive a disaster at sea. This is your captain. On departure tonight, we are uh, expecting uh, bad weather. So I ask you to secure anything that is loose so we don't break anything around the ship. Thank you. We've been through a gale force nine storm on the way from the shipyard down to Christiansen in southern Norway, and we didn't have any breakage. Although a hurricane at sea is a real possibility, the average day on the world of residency consists of bright, beautiful hours in the most exotic, exquisite ports on the globe. And every resident participates in the democratic process of selecting the itinerary. We've sent out questionnaires to all the residents and get input from them in terms of the ports of call that they would like to visit. We try to look at what special events are taking place throughout the world and be able to position a ship to be able to take advantage of those and, and be there for those types of special events. And the world's upcoming event destinations are nothing short of spectacular. They'll be in Monaco for the Grand Prix, in Rio de Janeiro for Carnival, in Scotland for the British Open, in Cannes for the Film Festival. Name the Jet Set Affair, the world will be there. The world is currently sold out, but if there is an opening, potential investors can stay for free and experience luxury at its best. And on her maiden voyage, this is what some of the world's first guests had to say. It's not even comparable to a cruise. It's no. not even like a cruise. It's another world. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty special experience, yep. Unlike any other ship that I've been on before. And the guest suites. The plumbing alone is amazing. I thought in the U.S. we had spectacular plumbing. <laughs> they do wild and wondrous things. Yeah. 
I particularly like the little window that goes up and down between your bathroom and your bedroom. You just push a little button and the thing goes up and then you can see this beautiful coast, you know, from your bathroom as you're taking your shower. But life on the world of residency isn't for everyone. There's no entertainment to speak of. Uh, there are no captains, cocktail parties, or formal nights, or any of the traditional stuff that you see on cruise ships. My wife and I enjoy dancing. Uh, we like to play bridge. We like to do other activities, but not at the times that they're scheduling it. We've been to the bridge room three afternoons at 2 o'clock, and nobody's there. They do have five lounges, but only one has any music for dancing, only one at a time. There's no uh, orders that are put out. Right. Okay. I mean, they, they had to find the pretzels. They had peanuts, but they had to find the pretzels. This is not like a cruise ship at all. We travel much slower. We spend much more time in port. This amazing luxury living experience was the first of its kind, making Residency Management Limited trailblazers in this ever-growing field. There's no doubt in my mind that uh, as people see what we have done, as they start to hear about the satisfaction of our owners, that uh, some people would try to do the same. Residency has definitely, definitely pushed the limits. The world is an amazing and unique luxury address, offering just what was promised, a way to travel the world in style without ever leaving home. The experience of sailing the world is truly unique. Its charter owners are unquestionably pioneers of the good life's final frontier.